Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotoots.com. Today we're going to be using Adobe Photoshop CS5 to make fake stars. Now I'll be using CS5 to get the job done in this video, but you could pretty much use any version of Photoshop that you want. Now this is what our final effect is going to look like. And as you can see, it looks pretty darn realistic. And the best part is that it's very, very simple to make. It's just a couple steps and we're done. Now what you could do is take this effect and apply other designs to it and make something really cool like this. As you can see, there are the stars in the background right there if you look closely. And actually, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this in another tutorial. So you guys should look forward to that and I'll probably link it in this video once that is up. So let's get started with this tutorial. Let's go to File, New, and let's make a new image. Let's make our width and height any size that we want. I'm going to make mine 1,280 pixels and my height 720 pixels and press OK. Now what I'm going to do is select the paint bucket tool with the color black and then double click on my background layer and press OK to unlock my background layer. Once it's unlocked, I'm going to fill it in with the color black. And then what I'm going to do is make a new layer. So let's click Command Shift N if you're on a Mac or Control Shift N if you're on Windows to make that new layer and press OK. And then we're going to fill this in with black too. Now the reason I have my background layer black and the new layer black is because the new layer is where all the stars are going to go. Now the background layer, this would usually have an image or something. For example, if you look at this, the background layer has this image of Kid Cudi performing in concert. But because I'm just teaching you how to do the stars, I'm just going to put the background layer as black. So let's make sure we have our new layer selected and let's change the layer mode to screen. Now if you were on an, if you had a picture in the background layer, this would make it look like the top layer was invisible. But because both layers are black, there is no change. Now once we have put that to screen, what we want to do is go to filter, hover over noise and click add noise. You want the amount to be 10%, the distribution to be Gaussian and monochromatic to be checked and press OK. Now we have a lot of static noise and this does not look anything like stars. So to make it look more realistic, we're going to mess with the levels. So let's go to image, hover over adjustments and click on levels. And then we're going to change our first number, which is zero to 65 and our third number, which is 255 to 99 and press OK and bam, just like that, we have stars. And that is it for this tutorial. Now you could take this effect and apply it to any image that you want. We could click and drag a moon into the center of this image, and then we could click and drag an astronaut into the corner of this image, and bam, just like that, you have a pretty realistic looking outer space effect. So that's it for this video tutorial. This is Octotoots.com, and until next time, I will see you guys later.